Okay, so a few more trig equations. Let's do 82 and 83 in this video. 82 and 83, and actually 84, um, 85, you're all going to use identities. Probably 82, 83, 84 are going to be pretty similar in nature. So the first thing I'm going to do for 82 is use an identity. Sine of 2x, that's 2 sine x times cosine x. Now be careful here. A common mistake would be to divide both sides by cosine x. And do not do that because that is not correct. You're basically throwing away a solution in that case. It would kind of be like having the equation x squared times x. Well, there's clearly the solutions. You can check that 0 and 1 are obviously both solutions, right? If you plug 0 in, you'll get 0 equals 0. If you plug 1 in, you'll get 1 equals 1. But if you divided both sides by x, you would only get the solution x equals 1. You'd be throwing away one of these solutions by dividing both sides by x. And that's what's going to happen if you divide both sides by cosine. You're assuming that cosine can't equal 0, that it wouldn't be a solution. But I think we'll see, in fact, that it very well can be. So just be careful about that. So what you do want to do, so don't do that, is you just want to make one side 0. And again, that's kind of a rule of thumb for... For solving equations in general, you just make one side 0 and try to factor. So notice we can factor out a cosine of x. We would be left with 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. Aha, well, one of the solutions is when cosine of x equals 0. And from the second factor, this 2 sine x minus 1, we would set that equal to 0. Well, we would add 1 to both sides, divide by 2, and we would get that sine x has to equal 1 half. Okay, so again, in terms of the unit circle, um, cosine, well, that's the x-coordinate, so at pi over 2 and at 3 pi over 2, that's when cosine is going to equal 0. Um, sine of x is going to equal 1 half. Let's see, I think the first angle I would get would be at pi over 6. And you'll also get an angle in the second quadrant, and that would correspond to 5 pi over 6. All right, so 83, same idea. Um, we've got 2 cosine x equals negative sine 2x. Well, again, I'm just going to use that identity that sine of 2x is 2 sine x times cosine x. We could certainly divide both sides by 2. That's a non-zero number, so no trouble there. So I'm just going to get rid of the 2s. If we divide both sides by 2, they're gone. And now I'm just going to add. I'm going to have cosine x plus sine x times cosine x equals 0. Again, we could factor out the cosine x. We would be left with 1 plus sine x. Well, that tells me that cosine of x has to equal 0. And it tells me that sine of x has to equal negative 1. Well, we just saw that cosine of x equals 0 when x is pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. Sine of x is going to equal negative 1 at the bottom of the unit circle. And again, that's just going to correspond to x equals 3 pi over 2. So our solutions will be pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So again, nothing too... Too crazy here, just uh, definitely wanted to point out that common mistake that's easy to do of dividing. Um, so you don't want to do that, but after that it's just using trig identities, factoring, and basically remembering these, these values on the unit circle.